Okay, Paso, Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Here is your weekly reading. Eight of Coins, Eight of Pentacles, Ocho de Oros, The Devil, El Diablo. So I'm already getting strong Capricorn energy. Capricorn, eight is the number of Capricorn. Full Aquarius, High Priestess, Cancer, Page, page of Wands, Nine of Swords. You could be embarking on a karmic relationship to use an overused label. What is a karmic relationship exactly? Well, it's a relationship that doesn't always feel that good. Lessons must be learned and the lessons must be mastered to get out of the karmic loop. You could be dealing with an Aquarian or someone who has strong Aquarius and Capricorn energy. So they could have Sun and Aquarius, Mercury and Capricorn, Moon and Aries, Cancer rising. That's one example of many. But what exactly is going on with this person you're in this so-called karmic relationship with? Stop, start, on, off, on again, off again. Um, Lately, I would say the communication has been pretty sporadic. And whenever the two of you are communicating, it looks like it's pretty sex-based. Very lusty, very sexual in nature. But I'm not seeing warmth. I'm not seeing tenderness. I'm not seeing emotional intimacy. And if we're being real and we're being honest, which I always am, I'm always real, I'm always honest, I'm the most transparent tarot reader that I've seen at YouTube, um, I see this sort of thing a lot. It's extremely common. So don't feel like you're being called out or you're being persecuted or whatever. This is very common. On again, off again, communication that's not very satisfying and it's mostly sex-based. You are the first sign that I'm using this deck on. I just bought this fresh from the package at our favorite comic book shop in San Antonio. I saw it in the checkout line. I had to snatch it up. I used my son's old Venom action figure in one of my other channels and videos from one of my other channels that has just a little over 100 subscribers. Anyway, um, I started with Pisces yesterday. I went from Pisces to Leo and now Virgo, first sign of Saturday, and you're the first sign to get this awesome Venom deck. Six more cards for Virgo. What is going on with Virgo? I am tempted to offer another discount on my readings. I just did the Gemini season discount. It's cancer season now. I'm tempted, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to offer a discount again until Virgo season, which starts in late August. My readings, which are usually just $75, one flat fee, they'll be $25 in Virgo season. Oops. Three of Swords, Tristia Spadas, Queen of Cups, Reina de Copas, 
King of Cups, Rate of Copas, Ace of Cups, Ace of the Copas, Nine of Cups, Nine of the Copas, and Ten of Cups, the Is the Copas. Wasn't a very good shuffle. This is the first time I've shuffled this deck at all, um, but I'll keep it. <clears throat> I feel like this is what you want. This is what most of us want. Everything except for the Three of Swords. We want an equal. We want someone who is as invested in the relationship as we are. This glorious trifecta, the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups. Most of us want something similar. Where the communication just flows and there's no third party and it's not long distance and it's not see you when I see you. Most of us, if we're being real, if we're being honest, we don't want friends with benefits. We don't want a situationship. We don't want third party. We want monogamy, exclusivity. And there are people who are into polygamy, polygamy, polyamory, whatever. There's all kinds of everything. It's, it's all a buffet these days. Pick and choose what you want. But speaking from my experience and what I've seen in client readings and what I see in the comments, most of us are craving something like this where it's just easy and there's emotional intimacy and it's not just sex-based. This is what you want, but this is what you do not have. What you have is the Three of Swords. What you have is the Page of Wands. What you have is a lot of obstacles. And you know, your intuition is telling you, you can do so much better, but you're stuck in this karmic loop. You're stuck in this loop of believing that you're okay with the breadcrumbs, but you really aren't. Six more for Virgo, say Smos, four, five, four. song by Capricorn Janis Joplin comes to mind. Get it while you can. It's a pretty bleak song. Three of Pentacles, Trace de Oros, King of Pentacles, Ray de Oros, Four of Swords, Quatro de Espadas, Ten of Swords, Dias de Espadas, Six of Swords, Seis de Espadas, Three of Wands, Trace de Bastos. It looks like a long distance relationship, but it's not really a relationship. That's just the way I see it. If there's not consistency, if there's not mutual respect, if you don't feel good interacting with the person, what's the benefit? A relationship is very energetic. You have two people who are energetically contributing to the relationship. I feel like I use the same words over and over again. Um, but I am seeing some bullshit. What I say again and again, I've been saying it for years. I started Siren Taro in November 2018. The best cards in the deck begin with each of us. The Ace of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Lovers, that begins with us. King of Pentacles. What is your value? What is your worth? Is it carved in stone? Or are you willing to compromise? Are you willing to accept breadcrumbs? Are you content? Are you okay with accepting someone's half-ass attempts at intimacy, someone's clumsy attempts at intimacy. If there's purity of intent, that's one thing, but I don't see purity of intent here. I see someone who could be duplicitous, uh, someone who could be deceptive. You could be dealing with someone who has, the word narcissist is overused. Everyone's a psychologist on YouTube these days, but this person could have narcissistic tendencies. Maybe they are a full-blown narcissist, but I feel like you're dealing with someone who is very self-absorbed, very selfish. They're not prioritizing you and your feelings. They just contact you when they're wanting to feed their ego. Is what I'm getting. Know your value. Know your worth. 
carve it in stone. Three, the most optimistic number, that's Jupiter Sagittarius. Five, Mercury, which rules Virgo and Gemini. Four is Aquarius. Six is Venus. Ten is one, Leo the Sun. Eleven, two, Cancer, the Moon. Eight, Capricorn. You're in your head a lot regarding this, regarding everything. I would say Virgo is the most neurotic sign. Virgo, more than any other sign, tends to stay in their head and overthink. And I can speak on this because I have Virgo rising and a Virgo moon, and my sun and Venus and Aquarius are in the sixth house, the house of Virgo. And I know that friends of mine who have sun and Virgo, they are extremely neurotic. They will mind fuck themselves into the middle of next week. The only remedy for that that I found, Four of Swords, taking care of your spiritual hygiene, breathing in, breathing out. I rarely get out of bed until I've meditated for at least half an hour. That is what I'd recommend for Virgo. Check in with yourself, breathe, Step away from the phone, step away from the social media, and you're going to see that you can do much better than this. That's what I have for Virgo. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Peace out.